driving home from my boyfriend's, which is an hour away. I left at 6 a.m. The sun is rising and it is beautiful and I'm in the middle of the countryside and it's just, you know what? Some things are worth it. Anyway, it's the beginning. I've arisen for a new week. Do this. I finally got my medication, which is great. I've been without for like three months. Just been kickboxing. Going to Dunham. Buy me a mirror. Here we go. Here we go. So I've got all my moulding stuff done and I'm here in the office filming some things. Do my hair here, do my hair here because weather's a bit shit. You know what, I do my hair at home and it looks lush and then as soon as I step out the door, it looks shit. So I just thought I would do my hair when I get it. Got myself a, my little mirror, one of my mirrors from Dunelm. So I'll put that here so I can use it. And when I do makeup videos, in there, I've got something to use rather than the viewfinder because that's not very reliable, is it? Just using my GHD curve, I'm doing my favourite kind of curls. Turn and twist, turn and twist. I'm curled and I'm ready to shoot some reels. Oh, I've got so many clothes in a brought a whole suitcase. That's like I'm running away from home. Got all these, got all these. The joys of Oh my God, I've got a fringe. The joys of uh, filming not from home. I mean, to be fair, I, I pr prefer the way it looks. It looks chef's kiss, but it is logistically a bit of a pain in the ass. Cause I have to lug all this. And when I get home, I'm gonna have to put all of them away. <laughs> I've got orders to do now. Ooh. Right, I think it's home time because I'm being nagged. Who's nagging me? She's like, it's home time because I want my tea, mom. I want my tea. Come on then, let's go. Home time. Got a good amount of stuff done today. I've just done a bit of tidying around the house. I've lit an incense cone. This stuff, I've only got a couple left. I need to buy some more. This is what I got in Austin. Uh, they buy good and Well Supply Co. I will pay for the import on that because it's so good. Um, I'm making plant-based shawarma bowls for my dinner tonight and then I'll have some for my lunch tomorrow. I am expecting my boyfriend at some point to set me on our own. What's going on? So I'm making some salad, cucumber, tomato, got some onion, I'm gonna cook some onion and have some raw. I'm gonna stink. I love the chopper. All right, I'm gonna do the tomatoes in the sink because they get everywhere. But it goes everywhere. So if I do it in the sink, it just slaps up the sink, not up the walls. Here is the finished product. With some garlic sauce. And we've got a little pitter on the go. Ooh, delish. Good morning. Just bean boxing. It was very hard. Oh my god, I've burned so many calories in unboxing. Oh my god. But it's a wonderful, misty, foggy morning. I love fog. When I was leaving this morning to come here, because obviously it was night 
it was dark still i love street lights and city lights in the fog it just looks so I feel like i'm in a movie because it's got that sort of like magical lens blur fuzz fade fuzz 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 uh so been boxing and graham who does the boxing he was like let me video you so here is here is me boxing He was like, tag us! But yeah, it was good fun. It's hard work. Uh, but I've got an hour be between now and my person and PT with Kat where I'll be doing weightlifting. Wednesdays are always a bit mad. Um, or when I when I do go boxing, it's mad because I go to boxing and then I have an hour. I either go home or um, go get a drink or something. But my my boyfriend's at home, so he can see to the dogs and let them out. Um, so I need to actually go to my office because I left my suitcase there and um, full of clothes and my camera stuff, and I need to go get it. ready very quickly walking around to Danny's house my friend Danny because we have some things we need to talk about I'm gonna tell her she smells like cheese and I can't be her friend anymore no um we're thinking about potentially starting a new, another podcast so we're just gonna have a little podcast shit got my pack lunch <laughs> I've got to do this and I've got I'm gonna that's all got my lunch with me because I have to go get my car MOT'd go to a place called Thetford to go to that <laughs> typical me forgot so I need to go get it done today <laughs> so we've been we've been to business talking plan is oh, it actually worked it did actually do you know what it is it's my brain is being oh, fixed uh, yeah and the pad and the, and the notepad. I'd say it was the notepad because last time we had a meeting, I was on meds. I was still drew Pedro Pascal's moustache. Yeah, and I so and you didn't have a pad. I just had an iPad which had things well, I only on. Read six words down on the pad, but still. Yeah, but you you drew like a mind map thing. Yeah, and is that, that the right? You're not allowed to say mind map anymore. No, that's what you're supposed to say. So we've been chatting business, and we have a few things that we need to do now, and we need to to think of a name mostly and then just get things going but it will happen and i'm hoping yeah. we're excited we've listened to everybody's feedback regarding like podcast stuff so we're gonna put the put it into motion in it so get them wheels turning get the wheels turning the goal is is to like get something out new year i think we can do that there's like two months there's two months and i mean it's taken us four months <laughs> to have the meeting but that's fine because we needed a little break True. that was a chair it was my bum so um <laughs> i've got to go but put a mustache on just yeah. before i leave not a goatee i want a full-on i've got loads of them at home i've kept all the ginger ones though because of oh yeah and the blonde ones for the blonde wig i love that like, i get so many messages of people being like why does the mustache feel i suit you so much and i'm like I, I don't know, but like I started only using it because I was paranoid about my actual moustache. You can't really see, you cannot see, I didn't say really, I meant you cannot see 
your actual moustache well, anyway. in real life. Did you know that Actually, the back of your house also f is the same direction as the back of my house? Isn't that weird? Is it? Yeah, because oh, the yeah, sun comes sense. through the back, but, but I don't understand because I walked here and it just... You went around some corners? Yeah. Also, question. When you say you're going around the corner, when something is round the corner, what does that mean to you? Because when I say, oh, it's only around the corner, to me, that is anything that is under a 10 minute drive. That's what I was gonna say. I reckon if you can get there, regardless of your mode of transport, if you can, can get, get there, there within sort of like five, 10 to, minutes, 10 five minutes, to 10 minutes, under 10 minutes. That's around the corner. Oh, you look good. Oh my God, I'm attracted to you. Why is, why do you suit a mustache? I think it's my juicy top lip. It's, it's a adorable. genetic thing. Didn't your dad have my a mustache? My dad, so my dad had a mustache and it just really suited him. But when he got rid of it, I cried so hard because I didn't want to know my dad without a moustache. You look great with a moustache. You know, there's a cartoon character that I'm feeling like, and I don't know- You all look like someone from Bob's Burgers. Ah, oh, that would be great. Yeah. Anyway, so back to my point. Yeah, on foot round the corner is different to in the car round the corner. Yeah. I just think round the corner is anywhere that's under, is five to ten minutes. Yeah, I agree. Anyway. Also, now all I have in my head, God, these are really sticky, aren't they? They are. Keep, please keep that on all day. If I don't see Instagram stories of you using this moustache instead of the filter, I'll be really fucking upset. I've got to go get Sylvie. Yeah, keep it on. As if anyone notices. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Danny, fuck, I need oh, to yeah, go. Need I need to go. go. I need we to go. We need to go. Let's go. I gotta go. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta go. Oh, God. I just walked home from Danny's because she's like my neighbour. Now she lives around the corner. I can walk to hers in under 10 minutes. That's around the corner. But I've come, I've got to drive to a place called Thetford, which is about an hour away. And I might get a little, little Starbucks on the route. MOT passed to flying colours, no advisories, and they even strapped up Glenn for the drive home. After a successful MOT, I um, just quickly popped home, did a few little things, hung my washing out. Um, I'm going for burgers. My friend Katie Owen, I always say her name in full, it's never just Katie, it's Katie Owen. Every once in a blue moon we'll do, we call it Burger Club. We'll go for a burger date, and it's a different place every time. We're going to a place, the Bun Exchange. Anyway, I don't know, you may have remembered from a previous vlog, I was overwhelmed by the kindness of an old man that gave him, gave me his parking ticket that had loads of time left on it. Well, it's just happened again. A young lady just gave me a parking ticket, which is valid until tomorrow. God, people of Norwich are great. Story short, uh, there's nothing wrong with me and my, but my bun exchange. Norwich is in a place called Macorbers. Well, Macorbers, they own, yeah, Macorbers, it's all one thing. Macorbers is the name of the building or the pub, but the bun exchange is in there. So it's a pub and they do burgers and we got this platter thing, which was so good. It was 30 quid for two burgers, one big side, chips and two dips. So 15 quid each for all of that food. It was so good. I'm so stuffed now though, and I keep farting. <laughs> I've been talking about farts a lot on my channel recently. I do apologize, but also, don't care. <laughs> oh, I'm in the office, doing, doing my thing. But I'm shooting a Halloween Q&A special slash get ready with me and I've bought some contacts. The people that do the makeup tutorials all the time using these, I just don't know how they do it. How do they do it like so seamlessly? Fun. Okay, we've got one on. Yeah! Because this is my bad eye, I can't actually see out of it. So when I'm putting this in, I'm like, mm, where is it going? Ah! When I watch this video back, I bet I'll see where I'm going wrong. Ah! Run! Woo! That looks cool, though. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah? Are there any forks? Do I need to wash them up? Right, <clears throat> good morning. So yesterday, like, time was ticking and I was like, shit, I need to get on. So what happened yesterday was I filmed this makeup for a YouTube video. I did a QA. and a And then I had to then quickly take that off and do some more pictures because um, I've got really exciting news. So I have been, um, I've been asked to be a Spec Savers ambassador for the next year which is fucking mental and all because so i got my orange frames i put in a picture on my instagram they liked it so much they they were they hired me as an ambassador which is great so i did some photos for spec savers as well yesterday so oh i'm so excited it was a mad rush like we were like shit i feel like i didn't really do much yesterday but everything seemed to feel like it took forever to do like everything just too uh but I, I, yeah i was right i mean i was kind of came home we had dinner and then I was working on the sofa as well. So that was kind of an update of my day, really. Because, yeah, after the last time I saw you, I was... Well, last time I vlogged, I just went head first into work. And then before you know, it was bedtime. Anyway, excitingness. I'm going to Liverpool today. So the boys are playing a gig in Liverpool tonight. And a gig in Leeds tomorrow. And I'm using it as an opportunity to visit friends that live in Liverpool. So I said, I'll come with you. I'll do some pictures and stuff for the band. But, um... I'm going to see my friends. So tonight I'm seeing Marika, who I went to Austin with, and then t then I'm t and then and then I'm going to stay around Becky's house, who is one of my best friends, my oldest childhood friend. And I'm spending the day with her tomorrow. Now I'm getting the train to Leeds from Liverpool tomorrow. Then meet the boys again, and then yeah, so it's a bit of a road trippy weekend. Dogs are going to my mum's. So I've just been packing. They're packing the van right now. I'm going to do my makeup in the car because it's like four or five hour drive. Beautiful. You see grandma. See Ozzy, Grandma and Ozzy. <laughs> I did this in the car. This makeup I did solely on the motorway. Uh, position. Right, it's a Liverpool. We first gig of the weekend is at a place called District. Very nice in here. And Marika will be here very soon. I am very excited to see her because I haven't seen her since Austin. The last time I saw Marika was um, Austin Airport. She was flying to Paris. I was flying back to London. <laughs> so, and it was like a it was a movie moment. She'll be here soon. I'm here. I'm very excited for it. Look at the Baltic market. Well, it's not cold though. It's really nice in here. Here is Petai and here is Marika. She's back. She's back. Back again. Back again. <laughs> Spent the evening at my friend Becky's house, which was a lovely, lovely time, lovely catch up. And um, we have been at hers all morning, we had some breakfast, and we're just chilling on the sofa, chatting loads. It's been pretty chill and nice. But I'm now on the train to Leeds. I got myself a little meal deal coronation chicken. Um, yeah. I'm in Leeds. Obviously it's Halloween weekend, so everybody's out tonight on their um, Halloween night out. But we are at um, a venue called The Lending Rooms. It's in a place also called The Library. Library is the pub, Lending Rooms is the venue. And there's loads of people in the actual like bar bit in their Halloween get up. And then we're here in the venue. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice venue. Oh, old, old school. So. I'm just here taking pictures as per. Boys are doing sound check and uh, it's gonna be nice. Good, good evening, there's lots of people out, so hopefully it's a good turnout.
Morning. Stayed in a travel lodge at this moto. Moto. Hotel. Yotel. Somewhere near Doncaster. And um, we just put our bits in the car, but I'm gonna keep me a nice coffee and maybe a Greg's or maybe a Costa. I don't know. Yeah, nice. Ah. 